Well, hello there and good day. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP, and today we are playing Brigandine, The Legend of Renergia. This is episode 59 of our Shinobi Sweetness campaign. <gasps> Deep breath. Um, so we are rocking and rolling with Talia's team to take on a new threat because I feel like I'm being bold today. Will I win? Probably not. But that's what I said last time, and I won. So I don't want to jinx myself. This is my army as it stands. It's a pretty nice army. I've managed to get a Lizard Lord in here. I've also got level 25 Ancient Dragon, which might come in handy. A 30 Thunder Dragon. Phoenix. The Goblin Guy. Lots and lots of units that might be useful. Together we might be able to win this battle. Now, here's why I'm doing this. The Phantasm Field looks like this. Which is another situation where we start off surrounding them. As long as I don't charge in right away, because the A army starts further to the south and the B and the C army start to the east and the west. Um, I've just got a very good chance of winning. Um, Phantom Knights are mostly green elemental. I've got a lot of red elemental, so they should go together. Uh, especially noteworthy is the fact that the Sniper plus four high centaurs is Army C, which is facing Toby, so we're not going to get Archer to death. And the rest, our Red Dragon and Red Magic, hopefully we'll be able to crush. Although I am concerned about the Swordmaster, but he might frontline himself and get himself killed. So, there are options for us. Even though we're under-leveled, I'm going to take the fight because it sounds like fun to do. It's the worst that happens. I get smashed, and then I just uh, load the save file and keep repeating battles. And then what happens? You win the game. On paper, our combat power is higher. Our Lizard Lord might be in a little bit of danger. Okay. Toby in the forest, by the way. I'm just saying. I've never heard her say that one before. Okay, then. This is a silencing anomaly. We don't want to step on those. What charming anomalies. We really don't want to step on those. Let's rock and roll. Let's move Toby down here. Uh, I'll keep him in the woods. Phoenix to the the goblins prefer terrain? He prefers forest. He can go to the north. Means my phoenix will go to the south. It means my Lilith will be on the southern end because it's a little easier to hit targets from there. And the goal is to draw the enemy out all at once in all different directions like they like to do. Quarters. I thought Talia would always go first. That was wrong. It's agility based. I know I'm kind of leaving the forest with the mandrake, but. Desert Knight. Lord, dude. Double move, baby. Double move. That's all I have to say about that. Double act, actually, to be fair. 
Oh, aggro already. I mean, she actually hit Toby. You missed. You missed. You missed. So, they can hit Toby. Which is annoying, but I can heal him. That's... Something. Uh, hi. How are you? So... I'm gonna assume I don't have a chance to hit you. Nope. What are your moves? The witching step is problematic. I mean, if the assassin comes into melee range, Duker, right? That's how this works. Double frost. My weakness. Yes. Turn two. Toby's first this time. Magic, and you're doom. You're doomed. Magic, heal, Toby. We're going for the kill here. We're not going for just like farming. This is the first time facing this army. I want to kill it, get the resurrection stones, or revival stones, or whatever you want to call them. And then worry about the next bit. Uh, moderate damage. Have it on wave. Please hit. Yes. Not cool, man. Not cool. Both of my remaining units are at full XP. Four hit points, if I don't hurt it. Easy kill. Oh, hello. I'm on my way. It's annoying. You missed. Okay, we need to run through the forest as quickly as we can to get Let's go. I can move pretty far next turn. Um, gonna have to move. Gonna have to put the unit up. This could be suicide. I 
guess any encroachment is a bad encroachment. Okay. That was extremely painful. First thing we need to do. Heal Medessa. Like all the way. Gotta heal her all the way. We know we're down. Next up. Magic. It's nice if we had a pyromancer worth of salt right about now. Magic. I'm gonna react because the thunder on the green elemental is just. Gotta go for kills here. This is not a farming expedition. Six? Such low odds to hit. Need the Halo spell. Sorry, this is a big thing moment. Is there a chance to hit her? Zero, so I can never hit her. Oldest horse has less power. I right, suppose so toss wouldn't do me any favors. Yes. chain holy word and hope that the 30% chance hits so I can I can hail but I'll be a few hit points short
10% chance to finish this fight now, but huge percent chance to Wait a minute. Frost, what are you thinking? Hold on. 10% crit chance means there's a 10% chance I crit, right? So, that would end the fight. But if a holy word to move the dragon down, the dragon's got a 30% chance of hitting. And ending the fight. So I'll take the 30% chance over the... Aha! Let's up that to 94% chance to finish this. Sorry, Goazad. I could have given you the shot at it. I don't think you could have reached. You might have been able to reach. Doesn't matter. Point is, we won. I think it's time for reset. Skill healing roar. <clears throat> Still got my curse. If he tries to melee Toby, can he hit? I'm gonna test that right now. Skill 30. So a decent chance to hit Toby, but not great. I'm assuming nothing else is gonna hit him. My only fear is if they go after my Lizard Lord. That would be unpleasant. They could theoretically kill that lizard lord. Two, two adjacent spots. Shield block, potentiality, archers. Could kill my lizard lord. I will refer to as a lizard king when I damn well please. Come get Toby. Ouch! You're dead, by the way. And you missed. Uh -oh. Ouch! You missed. And you missed. Talia, get in there! Like, give me some! It's all green elementals, so it doesn't matter. Heals. Oh no. No, no, no! I see the breath. I see the breath of coming. My, my, uh, Super Fire Dragon didn't get to do anything in this battle. I'm ashamed. Honestly, it feels like my Lizard Guard should just guard. Like, I'm not worried about Talia getting ambushed. She's in the freaking woods. She's gonna just dodge whatever. And troops turn, and troops turn. Dessa, uh, Valko still needs experience. Magic. Area heal for maximum XPs. Yeah. I love that you have an angel that can move after cast. So beautiful. 
I will say, one of the biggest su surprises of this game, of how this game functions, how it came out, one of the biggest surprises is just how versatile um, equipment is. It really does matter. Uh, React is 136. I have 132 MP. So one, maybe two more levels, and I've got a second spell. And with Medessa's Divine Ray, anything that frontlines is dead. Just dead. Toby's army has to go first. Yes, please. Heal. Asian must be through the roof. Sidestep S. 50% chance of dodging bow attacks. That's the equivalent of cut down. Crit rate plus 15. Get an evasion up. Ah, uh, pre move. Massive damage versus single adjacent enemy units. So in other words, I kind of need to get the kill this turn. He's going to rip through me. Magic flame. That'll hurt him. Magic curse. That'll really hurt him. I think we got this. Skill killer shot. I'd suck. Skill shadow slash. Well, good night. You fought bravely and died stupidly. I didn't get a lot of experience with that, but I did get three revival stones and maybe something else. Last time I got a flash on. So let's see what we get. Oh, we got a level 30 Elaine. Well, that's neat. So we did a good job. We won that flawlessly. Flawlessly. No units died. Three free resurrection stones for me. Freedom shade. Revival stone times three. Freedom mantle. That goes on Toby, I think. Evasion 10, crit rate 10, crit damage 10. Defense 15, HP 20. Another 10% evasion doesn't hurt. Charlotte did excellent. She got a sacred hat. That's good, good, good. Magic cost down. Not the best gear in the world, though. I will say that. It's good. It's not the best. 
Stella, Infernal Claws. Well, hello. That might be useful for my Fire Dragon. Will. Flame Knuckles, don't care. Brooch, Lightning Claws, failed. Magic Helm, Steel Bow. Wisdom Helm, like some potion, please. Played. Holy Hooves, don't care. That's cute for Kara, but I'm not going to use her again. Magic Potion, okay. Iron Breastplate. Um, less impressive now that I got that other thing. Magic Potion, Elixir of Magic, Heavy Garb, nothing. Tough man. Guards Fangs. I finally got... The new quest, Forgotten Cliffs, has been unlocked at Gargar. I gotta find out more about these special questing locations. Uh, so we leveled up a little bit. We mostly just killed mobs and got. So I currently have a swift mantle, which is 5 of accuracy, 7 evasion. And defense, 5 and 5. Freedom mantle. That crit rate and damage is a huge one. Defense and HP sells me. Better evasion, even if I have slightly less accuracy. I don't need accuracy. Pretty damn accurate. Could use him. I love it. Not there yet. Well, anyway, I want to thank you all so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like, share, subscribe, friend, follow, or whatever buttons. It really does help this channel grow. It lets me know what you're watching so I can keep making more of it. And I really do appreciate it, all the support from the very bottom of my heart. I'm on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Discord, all those good things. Links are in the description down below. There's a whole Breaking In community waiting for you to join it. There's Breaking In Discord, Engine, Subreddit, and Wiki. Um... There are four other streamers I recommend that are active at this time. There's Veracity Trigger, who I sometimes stream with on Friday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on his channel. Um, there's Valkos Lunari, who runs the Bringing in Discord. There's Two Technical, who's a game dev who's making his own game. And there's Trellin, who's new to the community and seems pretty nice. So check them all out. And as always on this channel, pieces.